Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James in Nashville, and let's talk about Rick's return to The Walking Dead main show, season 11. Spoiler alert if you're not caught up to season 11. Okay, there's no proof or anything leaked or anything like that that says Rick will return for sure. Yeah, there's some photos of him in Atlanta. There's some photos. He was in New York maybe a while back. He's been in the States, but there's no proof that he's filming the movies or he's going to be in season 11. This is all just speculation and stuff, theories. It's very possible that he just returned to Atlanta because, yeah, they're filming the last few episodes and a lot of people he may not see again or he just wants to come and see and say goodbye to or just to be around his friends as they celebrate the ending of the season. Or he could be there shooting a scene for the finale. I really thought that Rick would not show up, not even in a post credit scene for a long time. And now I'm kind of in the realm of it's going to be a post credit scene. I don't think I still just can't get on the team of he's going to be in the actual final episode or the finale or the last couple of episodes or something like that. And I also can't get on the team of uh, CRM and CW, Commonwealth, will have some big battle or war before the end of the season. I think all that kind of stuff will happen in the movies or a spinoff or something. I just can't see CRM and Commonwealth going up against each other this season. There's just too much to try to fit in, and that would just be crazy. You would almost have to leave it on a cliffhanger, and I hope they do some type of resolve where... Yeah, the Commonwealth story plays out. Eventually, you know, we see Maggie take Pamela's place, get elected governor, or Yumiko, or Carol, or whoever it may be. If Daryl and Carol are going to have a show of their own, I don't think it's going to be Carol. And that show announcement, if it's true and real, is one reason why I think Rick's return will be a post-credit. But one recent scene really got me started thinking about uh, Commonwealth versus... Uh, CRM and their militaries and one army and the other army and stuff like that. It got me thinking about a potential war and stuff more so because we see this mask in this one print right here. I don't think that is specifically CRM. I think it's just a generic helicopter or uh, a jet mask and oxygen unit there. But there's also a tank right over to the right side of that. Plus a Commonwealth uh, mask, soldier mask, and stuff like that. So you've, you've got your Commonwealth soldier mask at the bottom. You've got your, they got helicopters, if not jets, and they've got tanks. I don't think the tanks belong to CRM or the helicopters. I think they both belong to Commonwealth. We just haven't seen that grandeur yet. We just haven't seen all of that yet. It's very well possible that the tanks and the helicopters do belong to CRM. I just don't believe that myself or that's not my theory and as far as a crm connection um you know i don't see the three circles on anything and you know it's not that we have to see the three circles but you know like at campus colony you saw it on their jackets and stuff it was very prominent we didn't see it around jade as much but we did see it on the food cans at least i'm just not sure of that connection and a lot of people uh, say stuff about stephanie was taken by crm it just don't really make sense Yet to me that that could happen, that she was given the CRM like a test subject. I just, my mind just hasn't went there as far as a theory. I just can't see that playing out that way. If it does, cool, great, awesome. Maybe they will write it where it all makes sense. But let's look at the bigger picture. That's what I was, I'm trying to do with this video, I guess, about Rick's return. And I think Stephanie has more to do with something about the resistance than uh, CRM. So the Daryl Carroll show also just doesn't seem like they would just go off on their own show like a road show if Rick come back kind of thing. Some people say, well, Rick come back. Now he can take care of uh, Judith and RJ and Daryl's free to go do what he wants. I don't think Daryl would leave like, oh, Rick, come back. Cool. Uh, you, you got uh, Judith. You got little ass kicker. Uh, you're watching her. Cool. I'm hitting the road with Carol. I just don't, you know, I think he would stick around. They would want to be brothers again. So you've got Michonne. She's off with her group. A lot of people think that that's Portland. That's not my theory either. I think that group that Michonne found is actually a new group that we'll find out about in Michonne's spinoff, which will lead her somehow to Rick. I think the Daryl and Carol spinoff will lead them to Rick, which Rick is in the movies. Michonne heading to the movies. 
Daryl and Carol heading to the movies. If Maggie takes over Commonwealth and a lot of the most of the rest of the characters stay there, I don't know how much direct involvement they will have. Uh, maybe some mentions, maybe some small little parts. But I think Daryl, Carol, Michonne will have the much bigger parts along with whoever are the new characters in the movie and Rick. And as far as what can play out in the rest of part two and part three that will take up the time, you've got Maggie, uh, something's going on there, resisting. Then you've got Negan maybe meeting the resistance, another group. Maggie, Negan, and this group gets together, and they ultimately go up against Pamela. That's how it looks like it's playing out, and that'll be the battle in part three to the point that Pamela's taken down, Sebastian's probably in jail or dead, and a new regime, if you want to put it that way, a new regime is taking over Commonwealth, possibly Maggie, and it's not the class system anymore. They're going to work on everybody being more equal. So, does it suck that Rick won't return to the show? Yeah, we won't see the big battle. We won't see a lot of stuff. I think that'll suck that there's not a huge, huge ending and a final ending. It's a more open-ended ending to allow the universe to expand. They don't want to do a kind of finite ending, I don't think, to the show as far as the way the comic did it, per se. But they could totally still jump 20 years ahead and show an older Judith in some little bitty scene, kind of like the comic book did with Carl. You know, just some little bitty scene 20 years ahead, and you don't see Rick, you don't see Michonne, and you don't have to have that explanation of where they are necessarily but the way I think it'll play out is more of a everything's leading to the movies. Where and when will Rick return to season 11? If at all, I think it'll be a post credit scene. I think it'll be like World Beyond did it several times to set us up for that's kind of how we're going to be presented with some info, especially shocking info like the Fast Zombies. And the Fast Zombies, I've done some videos on it before my thoughts. I think it'll be a spinoff to itself, another expanding part of the universe. So I hope it wasn't just a bunch of rambling and you kind of understood what was going on and you're able to leave some thoughts about it down in the comments below because you know I'll join you there. And just to throw it out there, a little note, March is going to bring some treats, so stay tuned. Hey, this is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.